guess what? We also have some good news for coffee drinkers. A new study published in a leading medical journal says coffee may be good for your heart. KTLA's Leela Feinstein live in Santa Monica where she spoke to a cardiologist about the findings. Hi, Leela. Hi, Cher. Well, I'm here at this neighborhood coffee shop, and this is a go-to place for so many of us every day. But, you know, many people, they feel a little guilty when they consume coffee. They feel like maybe it's bad for their hearts. Well, a new study shows, actually, it's just the opposite. Like many of us, Adrienne Chondok likes to start her day with a cup of joe. I like caffeine, any kind of caffeine. I don't care, coffee, tea. And according to a new study, that daily coffee buzz is improving your health and may help prevent heart failure. For a long time, people thought coffee might be harmful. Dr. Richard Wright of St. John's Health Center says caffeine can stimulate the heart and raise blood pressure. But this new study, which looked at more than 140,000 coffee drinkers, found that coffee beans have benefits as well. And they're good things in coffee beans. Those can be antioxidants, bioflavonoids, just the healthy things, just like are found in fruits and vegetables. And they get distilled into coffee, and so drinking coffee actually can be helpful. But the amount matters. People who drank one to two cups per day reduced their risk of heart failure by as much as 11%. But those who drank four or more cups per day increased their risk. So Dr. Wright says it's all about moderation. The sweet spot is the one to two. If you drink one to two cups a day, you're less likely to have heart issues. Issues, including in this report, heart failure. So that's awesome. You know, I had no clue. So I'll definitely uh, <laughs> keep drinking my coffee every morning. Now, according to the National Coffee Association, more than half of American adults drink some form of coffee every day. And each year, more than or nearly six million people suffer from some kind of heart failure. So many people say a study that looks at the link between these two is definitely welcome information. Reporting live in Santa Monica, I'm Leela Feinstein, KTLA 5 News.